Okay, I'm going to show you how to install these models um, from models.invoke.ai. And uh, if you go there, you'll go from a list here at the top that says models. And then you can check out the models, what you like, concepts, styles, and tools. Uh, the ones I like is some of these IP adapters down here. I think I got every one of them. Uh, you will need, make sure that you have the correct version. If you hover your cursor over the yellow icon here, the circle one, it'll tell you which version. Because um, if you got a real old version, it will not work. So make sure that you download the encoder. So uh, example, it, let's say I like this one here, which I do. It's the IP adapter plus face. And we click here. It gives you a short description. The face plus IP adapter mode allows for users to input a face, which is then passed in condition for the image to generate process in order to attempt to gen a similar face okay uh, it pretty much self-explanatory and what you do is you come up here and you press add model <coughs> now it says copy here so I'm going to copy this and this is the this is the text up here that it's copied and we're going to come back here and it'll say we're to the front here and you want to know how to get to the uh, models manager it's this uh, icon it looks like a little cube and we're going to click here this is called the model manager and we're going to go over to import models and then you can uh, import your models through here now it, it'll do hugging face it'll it would do the invoke website and uh, we're all accustomed to uh, http this does not take the http so if I just go ahead and paste this in there, control V, you'll see there's no AT HTTP in here. So it will still work. Now I've already got it installed, so I know that it it's not going to take. So once I click this, it's spinning around. You can open up the terminal to see what's going on here. Um, because it's, on the UI, it doesn't tell you. See, it just got a pop up. On the UI, it doesn't tell you how long you got to go, but if you open up the terminal, this will allow you to see how long before it's finished. Uh, one of the things that I like to do, which I don't know if it's ne necessary, I like to go to my settings and sync my models, because uh, it syncs, uh, I believe, all these models here. I don't know if it does the IP uh, adapter. So, we're going to go into the next step and we're gonna and i'm gonna show you use that uh, ip adapter face my next step is to load the uh images i'm going to be using i'm going to be using this right here it's 384 by 512 and also the next one to it is 512 by 768 the proportions are the same so if you take 768 divide it by two you'll get 384 uh, it probably really don't matter. I just do that for the heck of it. Uh, you could probably best to use like a 512 by 512, but I just did, uh, I just kind of kept the proportion the same. So we'll load this one here and go into the asset browser right here. We'll go ahead and load this one here and right here. Now, uh, this one has a prompt to it. And we're going to use two different things. We are in image to image right here. So if I, you know, right click this and we'll use all so it uses a prompt and everything. Um, then we got some settings over here. The thing uh, you really want to do is just turn this seed off, okay? Um, because it'll fry one of the images. Uh, you might want to try about uh, four uh, images right here. Now you're going to get variations depending on your denoise strength. You may like this way because you'll come up to all different types of variations. So with that said, um, I'm just going to drag this one uh, over here. Not necessary, but I will. And then uh, I'm going to apply this uh, to the uh, IP adapter right here if you don't see it. 
it's under a control adapter then the IP adapter and we're going to take this nose that are kind of like they're kind of like a, a face is kind of facing the same way so let's make turn out pretty good instead of you know she's looking um, as I'm looking at her to the left he's kind of looking the same way the skin's a little dark I kind of lighten it up just a little bit it, it will match fairly decent it says me to tell me to pick a model so I'm gonna use the IP adapter plus face and it's gonna do its best to you know put a face on here and we can do a variations of four uh, the higher this is on the denoise strength the more the, it would not look like this okay it'll start moving away if I move it to less denoise strength it'll try to look more just like her like you know it'll keep it will keep his face but you know but far as her jacket in the background it's gonna try keeping that so I'll just kind of show you an example I don't think I want to do uh, four we'll do three and there's some settings down here this is something you're gonna have to do to mess with okay so we'll just try at 0 0.6 and run a couple tests it does pretty good just by you know a few things but there may be some reason like hey I still want to keep that jacket I still wanna you know keep the background well it's kind of high it's not super high but I wouldn't go with a default it's just too much for it as you can see right there so I'm gonna turn it down about halfway and see what we get I call this the blend mode you pretty much don't want to go any lower than this and we'll run another test okay like I said uh, now you can see the face here probably not the best I mean it's keeping the skin tone down on the chest and everything but look at uh, I'm losing uh, she don't have the jewelry the jacket changed colors so maybe I want to get a little closer so basically I'll just switch over here and we toned it down I call it the blend mode you get very you get a little bit closer there you go see not bad but I'm going to show you how to get right on you know get really accurate with it Pull this up here so you can kind of see the difference. And that's something you're going to have to tweak with. So uh, now you can see here. Look, the jacket looks a little bit similar. All right. Probably uh, I could do better. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete a bunch of these images out of here. Now I'm going to switch this back up and I'll just click reset which is 7 and I'll set it back down to 6. I drag her over here and I'm going to go to the image action and I'm going to send this to the Unified Canvas. Alright, also you can, uh, you're going to see it down here and you can do some adjustments there you can adjustments here this by default works pretty good and we're gonna do some uh, I gotta bring up I can't remember the, let's see it was shift C and shift H so I'm gonna move the box up here and all I want to do is change the face okay let's get this way out of my way Let's go ahead and set that back over there. And we're just going to, you know, paint in a mask for the face. And it's going to be his face, hopefully, and uh, nothing else is going to change. So I'll drag right here. All right. Looks fairly decent. I'll we'll just kind of drag right here. Now you may want to bump up uh, the images when you generate them up here. So we'll switch this one to. We'll just switch it to four. It needs to be more than this, probably. But 
Hey, what the heck? So we'll run this through here. Wait till it finishes. And I'm looking down here. See, it's not changing their jacket. It ain't changing their tattoo down here at the bottom. So it's working pretty good so far. And like I said, if, if I bump this up, I, you know, probably out of eight, uh, if you put eight here, I think you only get seven down here. So uh, you should be able to get one. It's, it hits pretty quick and it's fairly accurate. So there's not a lot of fussing going on here to get something you like. It is about done. And we got this little arrow key right here. I'm going to go ahead and switch between these. That looks pretty good. That that skin tone kind of matches down there. I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to hit the check mark. Bam. Then I'm going to go... I think it was shift C to hide the mask, shift H to hide the box. Now that looks pretty good. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. If you wanted to, you could uh, import this into another application and maybe lighten the skin up. I did a little bit, but I think it looks pretty good. It's blending pretty good. A little brown, skin down here a little red. That's okay, but uh, that's kind of how you do the uh, IP adapter. Um, for the face right here, which is pretty cool.